Is this a parallelogram? Well, not yet, but we do know that a parallelogram is a shape that has the following properties. And so, and so we don't have any of these anymore. Well, we don't have any of those yet. But let's see if we can use some congruency and, and see if we can get those four properties. So we'll start off by placing a diagonal line. And then we can prove that the following, or we can try and prove that the following two triangles are congruent. And so let's see if they are congruent. So we can start by saying in triangle A, B, D, and triangle B, D, C. Well, we can straight away see that A, B is the same as D, C, because that's been given to us. Now we know that these, that A, B, and D, C are also parallel. So can you see the following Z? So for that reason, we can say that this angle here is the same as that angle over there. Now, what is this angle? Well, that's angle A, B, D, with a little arrow on top of the B, and that's gonna be the same as B, D, C, with a little arrow on top of the D. And the reason for that is alternating angles, and that's because A, B is parallel to D, C. And so going back to the congruency, we can also say that B, D, is equal to BD because that side is common. And so there we have it. We have a side, we have an angle, and we have a side. So we can say that therefore the triangle ABD is congruent using three lines like that to triangle CDB. And the reason for that will be side, angle, side. But remember when the angle is in between, we have to make sure that it was like that with the triangles. And so the two sides we used in this top triangle was this side and this side, or luckily the angle we used was there and that is in between. And in the bottom triangle, the two sides we used were those two. And luckily the angle that we found was in between. And so side, angle, side does work. And so to summarize, we have just proved the following two triangles are congruent. And so let's get as much information as we can from that. Well, if that's the case, it means that this angle is the same as this angle. This side is going to be the exact same as this side over here. It also means that this angle, which I'll actually show with an X instead, is going to be the same as that. So just pause for a second there. Can you see the Z? Well, because these two angles are now the same, that automatically implies that these two sides are going to be parallel. And so let's see what we have so far. Have we found the opposite sides to be parallel? Yes, we have. Have we found the opposite sides equal? Yes, we have. The opposite angles, okay, that we haven't done just yet, but that's just because we haven't filled it in. So we know that this angle here is the same as this angle here. And so now the opposite angles are equal because have a look here. This one is a black dot and that one is a black dot. This whole angle is a X and a Y and this whole angle is a X and a Y. And so indeed the opposite angles are equal. All that we need to do now is the diagonal lines. And so to do diagonal lines, well, of course, we're going to have to introduce the second diagonal. And then just to get rid of this problem here where we've got this dot in the middle of nowhere, I'm going to do the following. Then what you could do is prove that the following two triangles are congruent. Or if you want, you can do the, the other two. And then what you could do is prove them as being congruent. I'm not going to do that now just to save you some time. But... For example, if we had to use these two triangles, we could call this E over here, and I'd call this E1 and E2. So we could do things such as the following. We could say that this side is equal to that side, so that's already one thing. We could say that this angle is equal to this angle, so that's two things. We could then say that this angle is equal to that angle because of vertically opposite. And then we've got three things which say that those two triangles are congruent. So from that, you would be able to say, therefore, this side is equal to this side, and this side over here is equal to that side. And then we have proved that the diagonals bisect. And so by simply starting off with the following, we were able to prove that this is also a parallelogram.